Hey, good morning. Welcome to CGS Biblecast. So glad you're here today. I'm getting pretty used to saying that, so, yeah. but it's true. It doesn't change the fact that I'm glad that you're you're watching and you're enjoying these videos. And uh, today we're going to be talking about Jonah. So this is a story where a man is swallowed by a fish. Now, I had trouble with this for years. I didn't preach on it because I didn't do uh, enough research on it. Finally, when I did uh, do the research and preached a whole series on Jonah, I really enjoyed it. Um, I, I, I guess also, like, why have tr why should you have trouble with with a scripture like this? Uh, can can a man survive uh, in the belly of a large fish or whale? No. Well, maybe. But with God, anything is possible, right? So I don't know why we have trouble with this. Like, man can't do that. Well, it's like a man can't, like, God can't create the universe out of nothing. Nobody can create anything out of nothing. Uh, a man can't die and be raised to life three days later and, and, and bring salvation to the entire world. Like, you get what I'm saying here? Like, why do we have trouble believing these type of stories? But I did find an interesting story where a man did get swallowed by a ginormous fish and lived to, lived to tell about it. Spent a couple hours under the water as these, uh, I guess the guy fell overboard. He got swallowed by this fish and, uh, they, someone saw it happen, so they found, they knew what fish it was, and they somehow caught it. Anyway, pretty amazing story. Um, you should look it up. Just Google, man survives in the belly of a whale. <laughs> if you don't find a story about Jonah, you may find find this story. Uh, but it kind of showed that there is some legitimacy to it. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff, too, about, like, the acid you can live within with belly acid for so long. I don't know. There's all this stuff about that. But that's not the point here today. The, and Jonah isn't about a fish. Like, it's just not even what the story's about. So all of that is just a waste of our time, but it is an interesting conversation. Uh, the truth is, Jonah is a story about being called to something hard, stepping out of your comfort zone and stepping away from things that you maybe uh, are comfortable with and doing something that you're not comfortable with. How do you handle that? Well, Jonah didn't handle it very well. Jonah... The prophet Jonah, is a good dude, did everything the right way until finally he did, was called to do something that he didn't want to do. Um, God told him to go to this ex extremely evil city, tell strangers that they needed to change, and he tried to outrun God, hopped on a ship in the opposite direction. But God wasn't having it. And Jonah soon got the message when the storm hit, he knew that he was being defiant, and he knew he had to be tossed overboard to save the rest of the crew. And, um, yeah, he thought that was the end, but God had other plans. Like we said, the fish thing and the dark of the belly of the fish, Jonah turned back to God, and eventually it led him to Nineveh, uh, and which this led to a massive revival. The dude preaches, I think it's like, was it five words, seven words? I can't remember exactly off the top of my head. Preaches a sermon, five words, and a humongous revival breaks out, and and he's almost he's mad about it. He's like, "Why did that work? I, did, I put in minim, minimum effort. These people don't deserve uh, the Lord." But it's an interesting story. Let's read a few uh, a few things from it. Kind of skip around here. Verse chapter one, verse one through three. The word of the Lord came to Jonah: Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it, because its wickedness has come uh, before me. But Jonah ran away from the Lord. So we just talked about that a little bit. Jonah chapter 2, verse 1, and then skipping around to 9 and 10. From the inside of the fish, Jonah prayed, Salvation comes from the Lord. And the Lord command, commanded the fish, and it vomited Jonah onto dry land. Skipping up to chapter 3, verse 3 and 10. Jonah obeyed and went to Nineveh, proclaiming, Forty more days and Nineveh will be overthrown. The, the Ninevites believed God, and when God saw how they turned from their evil ways, he relented. He went back on it. He showed them mercy. So Jonah wasn't this fearless hero that saved this nation and these people and preached the good news. And uh, No, he was just like us. He was trying to run from the Lord. And so maybe we fled from 
uh, similar things in our life, uh, sharing the gospel with people, uh, turning around and giving money to the guy that you know, that you know the Spirit was leading you to give money to the guy, uh, telling uh, you to, to help him. Maybe the flat tire person, you drove right by thinking, I don't have time, but the Lord put that on you and you didn't do it. You never know what God has got up his sleeve and what he's got planned. Maybe it's giving generously. You, you just you knew you should have given and been more generous, but you, you weren't. You put in a minimum effort. Maybe it's facing a fear from confronting an unhealthy habit, refusing to let go of unforgiveness. It could be many, 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 many things. Yet, when we turn around in surrender and obey, we can accomplish amazingly God-blessed feats. But <laughs> this doesn't happen if we just stay comfortable and we only do what we want to do. We have to go to Nineveh. Yeah, and he had good reason to hate Nineveh. Believe me, he's, he's this is like a central hub of uh, these Assyrian raiders that would come and, and they would send out all these attacks and raid raid uh, Jewish people. And so he had uh, plenty of uh, reason to, to hate these people, but God doesn't hate them. And he wanted to, to redeem them. And, and so he, he needed someone to go. Who are you being told to go after? And you're running from God. You may not, you may not be running away from church. You may not be running away from other things that are good, but you're running away from the thing that God is telling you to do. You're no different. So listen to the word. Listen to the Lord and somewhere figure out between there what he's trying to say and follow him. Follow him where he's leading you. Have a great day. Bye.